I, Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 series. In this video we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Do us a favor, if you find this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. This video is going to be focused on NIC or network cards. Uh, we're going to show you uh, some of the different options. Uh, we're going to compare some of them as well. Uh, we're going to show you how to install uh, two different types of options. And then we're going to give you at the very end of a list of uh, all the different types. Well, I shouldn't say all, but a bunch of the different types of network cards that you can use for your R720. So let's just go ahead and hop in and let's go over the different types. All right, so here are some of the main options for the NIC cards for the R720. So let's go over them. So uh, we're featuring here uh, RJ45 and SFP Plus, um, and we're showing one gigabit and 10 gigabit. So the first card over here is four one gigabit RJ45. The second one is two one gigabit by two 10 gigabit RJ45. This next one is 2 by 1 gigabit RJ45 plus 2 by 10 gigabit SFP plus. So depending on what you're looking for, all these are currently under $50 and the market obviously shifts around and could get even lower. Um, but all these are good options to be able to hook up to your, uh, to your R720 and get you know, SFP or RJ45 and get up to 10 gigabit, okay? Back here um, are the PCIe versions, which is, I guess, something we need to cover, that these are all considered daughter cards, and these are PCIe. So the daughter cards, I'm a big fan of because uh, similar uh, to the uh, the mini monos for the RAID, there's a carved out section in the 720 for uh, the daughter card. So as opposed to wasting one of the PCIe cards, which I will say their 720 does have seven PCIe slots, so there's plenty of those, but sometimes uh, you want to save some of your PCIe slots for other things. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of using the daughter cards uh, for Dell as a whole uh, because, again, there's a space carved out specifically for them, so you might as well utilize it. And generally speaking, they're a little bit cheaper as well, plus they get four ports and the PCIe's only get two ports. So there's definitely several advantages uh, to the daughter cards as a whole. So back here is two by by 10 gigabit RJ45 and 2 by 10 gigabit SFP plus and again the PCIe's uh, just the, the way that they are you can only get two ports okay um, so that is uh, kind of the heart of it yes there are plenty of different cards that you can use for the 720 uh, we'll put up a comprehensive list at the end some of the stuff that we have used or have found um, and we will uh, go ahead and install uh, one of the uh, daughter cards and one of the PCIe's all right, so we'll install one of the daughter cards and one of the PCIe. You will need a screwdriver for the uh, daughter card, so I just wanted to point that out. So we're going to go ahead and take the top off. And so in order to install the mini mono, uh, we're going to want to remove riser 2. So we're going to go ahead and pull riser 2 out, which can be a little bit snug, so I like to just kind of slowly work it out. And then we're going to come in and actually install uh, the uh, the daughter card itself. So the tricks here is this little um, area that you see for the uh, that has the metal sticking out. You want to slide it in and push it in to the opening right here. Um, so that way it's firmly in because when you come down it's a very tight squeeze uh, right here. So you need to make sure that you have it fully in and of course make sure you have it facing the proper way as well. So we're going to come in here. We're going to make sure it's fully in and we are going to slide it down. Okay, and you'll see it just kind of slides into place, and even right now it's uh, probably needs to be pushed in a little bit more, but it's in the right place. So then we're going to go ahead and push these two uh, blue dots to make sure it's fully in, and you heard it clip in right there. Uh, so it's fully inserted right now, and we're going to take our screwdriver and we're going to fasten it to the board. So you'll feel it kind of going down, and eventually it's going to get tight and just stop so that you don't strip the screws accidentally so again just nice and easy and it's tight and stop and just like that we have installed our uh, 2 by 1 gigabit plus 2 by 10 gigabit RJ45 uh, for our daughter card and it was very simple overall so now we'll go ahead and do the PCIe alright so now we are going to do our PCIe. Notice that it is a low profile, so we'll need to come over here to riser 1. 
So riser one, we're going to go ahead and pull up. And with riser one, you will notice that there are two uh, blue clips. So this first one you're going to push down just to have some extra space in the back. The second one you're going to pull down. And normally, actually, I don't even like to do it over the system because sometimes uh, these little brackets will fall out. So you do need to be kind of careful. So I actually like to have it facing down so that gravity is not working against me. But we're going to go ahead and pull this top out. Uh, and then you choose which one you want. So I'm going to do the middle one. And we're going to remove this. I also recommend saving these. You never know when you need them. Um, so then we are going to line all of this up. So we're going to come in here and make sure you have the tip here that needs to go in and then all the leads. So those are the three things you really need to focus on lining up. So we're going to just come in here, get it all hooked up and then push it down. You heard it clip into place. We'll push this back in to secure it and then we'll come back over here and lock it into place. And then we're just simply going to come back over here and install riser one again. So really honestly, it was a very easy uh, installation process overall. But that is how you would do the uh, PCIe version. And um, yes, you can um, have them both in at one time. So um, thank you for uh, stopping by. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, do us a favor and click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you need any uh, network cards yourself or if you need any custom built servers, we'd love the opportunity to earn your business, please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We do Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, you name it, we do it, uh, and we'd love to help you. Take care. Thanks for stopping by, guys.